Hey, how are you doing today? Good, how about you? I'm doing good. Uh, my name is James. I'm going to be your nurse today. Nice to meet you. Um, so we're going to be running through a little bit of a head to toe. I'm going to ask you a few questions and stuff, all right? Okay. Um, first, can you just tell me your name? It's Alyssa Vermillion. Okay. And what town are we in? Scottsboro. Okay. And what holiday are we really close to? Thanksgiving. All right. And then, do you know who the current president-elect is? Uh, Joe Biden. Okay. So, um, from a distance, she was talking back to me and stuff, so speech was fluent, hearing intact, speech and hearing both intact from over six feet away. Um, she's oriented times four. She is dressed appropriately for her age, albeit a bit scandalous. Um, her demeanor is calm, composed, no audible or visible signs of distress. Her breathing is effortless, no accessory muscles. Um, do you mind taking your jacket off for me? Just going to take a look at your skin here real quick. Okay. Skin is warm. Pink and dry. Um, just going to look at your nails real quick. Alright. Uh, nails and lips are showing no signs of cyanosis. There was no lesions, no abnormal moles on her skin. Um, if she did have a mole, it kind of maybe made us worry about melanoma. The things we look for are asymmetry, irregular border, inconsistent color, diameter greater than six millimeters, and some elevation. But I didn't see any of that anywhere. So, all right, I think we will dive on into our assessment here. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything. No, I mean her. I, I said her uh, demeanor is calm. So I mean she's got obviously manners, appropriate behavior. Um, all right, I will start with your head. So her head is upright, midline, and still. I'm just gonna take a look here. Okay, scalp is palish pink, free of any lesions. Um, warm, dry for the most part, hair color is brown, hair is evenly distributed, hair texture is fine, it's soft, no lumps or bumps upon palpation, um, I could just see it visually but also feeling it now, uh, normal cephalic head shape, and symmetrical. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you make some facial expressions for me, okay? So go ahead and smile really big. Okay, scrunch your face all together. Eyebrows up, stick your tongue out, side to side. Okay, all facial expressions are intact. They were smooth. No evidence of asymmetry or one side lagging, anything like that. Um, I'm gonna have you you can choose whichever way, face one way or the other, so we can see your ear. Okay, ears lined up with the outer canthus of the eye, the pinna is slightly elevated, but that's normal. Um, ear is appropriate size and shape for the head. There is no discharge. And then I'm gonna actually just show this side too, just to show, same thing on this side, I'd look at them both at the same time though. This is just for the camera to see. The palpate, any tenderness there? Mm -mm. Okay, no tenderness, um, no nodules, no swelling, no um, inflammation or excess heat. And then I palpated her mastoids there as well. The, and same thing, no swelling, no tenderness. Um, what about here? Any tenderness? No. Here? Nope. Frontal and maxillary sinus, no tenderness. All right. She's blinking spontaneously. When she blinks, her eyelids cover the entirety of her eye. When her eyes are open, the um, palpable fissures are equal on both sides, indicating that the eyelids are in the same position on both sides. Eyelashes are evenly distributed. You can go ahead and just look straight forward. Cornea is clear, free of evasions. Iris is green, same pattern on both sides. 
Conjunctiva is pink and clear, no lesions, no abnormalities. Lacrimal puncta is in the same spot on both sides, no exudate. Pupils are round, equal bilaterally at about probably four millimeters. Um, I'll go ahead and stare straight at my nose here. Okay, corneal light reflex. It's reflecting at the exact same spot in both eyes, indicating the eyes are at the same position. Um, okay. I go ahead and stare straight at my nose here. I'm going to shine this light in your left eye, okay? Direct constriction of the left eye with the light shown in it. I'm going to shine at that same eye again, okay? Consensual constriction in the right eye when I shine the light in our left eye. Go ahead and look at the light here. Now look up the camera. Eyes dilate to the distinct object, constrict to the close object. Go ahead and follow the light. Extraocular muscles intact, full, all six um, fields of gaze. Nose is proportional to the face. Any tenderness here? What about here? Okay, no tenderness on the ridge or the soft tissue. Um, you wanna cover one nostril and breathe in and out the other. Okay, do it the other side. Both nostrils patent. Um, lips are pink, dry, no lesions, no check lips. This here. Don't worry, this has never been used. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, and the inside of the lip, same thing. Three vibrations, pink. Buccal mucosa is pink. Free of any sort of lesions. Gingiva are pink. No inflammation, no, gen no redness in the gingiva. Again, no lesions. Good dentition, no visible fractures. Teeth are white. Go ahead and smile big and close your teeth together. Upper and lower teeth um, align appropriately. Okay, open again. Okay, tongue is not swollen, rough texture, pink. Go ahead and lift your tongue up for me. Floor of the mouth is pink, free of any abrasions or lesions. Okay, <laughs> sorry, stick your tongue out for me. Hard palate, normal U shape, pale in color, no lesions. Go ahead and hum. Okay. Uvula rises upon pro, uh, phonation and its midline. Go ahead and see if you out. That's the soft palate. Tonsils are probably a two plus, possibly a one plus. Posterior pharyngeal wall, no exudate, no swelling, no um, lesions, and it's pink. Yeah, I don't need this anymore. Okay, we are gonna look at your neck now, okay? Trachea is not immediately visible, but you can kind of see where it rises on her skin. That's midline, um, sternocleidomastoid muscles and trapezius muscles are equal bilaterally, good symmetry. Okay, trachea is midline and symmetric. Go ahead and lean your chin down and then a little bit this way. Swallow. Okay. Other one. Good job. Swallow. Thyroid is smooth, non swollen, um, symmetric. And then also upon visual inspection, you can just see that there's no goiter, there's no swelling in her neck. Even with, against the light, you don't see any carotid pulsations. Um, again, yeah. Uh, 
Thyroid though, smooth, no swelling, symmetric. Carotid pulsations is two plus on the left side. Two plus on the right side as well. I'm gonna feel some of your lymph nodes now. Let me know if there's any tenderness with any of these, okay? I'll turn your head to one side just so you can kind of see, but I'm doing the same thing on both sides. Pre-auricular, posterior auricular, occipital. Okay, I'll turn a little more. Um, posterior, cervical, superficial. This is tonsillar, anterior, cervical, superficial. And again, I'd be doing this both sides, but just so you guys can see from the camera. Um, supraclavicular, submandibular, submental. Now, is there any tenderness with any of those? No swelling either. None of them were palpable, so they weren't fixed. They weren't um, swollen. Okay, let me make sure I'm not missing any more notes. Okay, I'm not. Okay, go ahead and turn your head over your left shoulder. Right shoulder. Okay, chin to chest. And back up. Okay, neck. Full range of motion against full resistance, indicating all the neck muscles are intact too and no weakness. So it'd be a grade of five, which is that full against full resistance, against full gravity, full range of motion for the neck. Um, let's look at your upper extremities. So first I'm gonna have you stand up and we're gonna go through some range of motion exercises. So as far as your shoulders, we're gonna flex them first, so straight up. Okay, good. Straight back, after extension. Okay, arms at your side. Straight up, that's abduction. Straight down across your body, that's adduction. Okay, now go ahead and thumbs up behind your head. Okay, thumbs down behind your back. So the internal external rotation as well. So shoulders, full range of motion. We're gonna look at elbow now. So go and hold it 90 degrees. Can you, both hands, can you? Okay, supination, pronation. I'm gonna have you Pull up, now push down. Okay, excellent. Again, against that full resistance indicates muscle strength is intact. So she's got the biceps and the tricep muscle strength as well as the full range of motion with her elbow. So that'd be another um, grade five, which is against that full resistance. Now we're gonna look at your wrists. So go ahead and do this. Okay, fingers apart, together, make a fist. Open it, go ahead and cross over. All right, and then now, with your hands kind of straight up like this, you're gonna go just side to side, kind of like you're waving. So, it'd be like this, and just side to side like that. Yep, good job. So that's the ulnar and radial. So wrists, hands, full range of motion. Let's test grip string. Okay, no weakness suspected, full grip string. Yep, go ahead. Okay, and I think you already did it, but just in case, thumbs across. All right. Um, now let's just kind of palpate here. Any tenderness? Okay. No tenderness in upper extremities. Skin is pink, warm, and dry. No visible or palpable edema. Air distribution is even. Nails are firmly adhered to the nail bed. Nail bed is pink. Nails are translucent or clear. Less than maybe one second cap refill. Nail texture is smooth, no ridges, symmetrical in both hands. Okay. Um, let's take some reflexes here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I have my thumb over that tendon, the biceps tendon there, that are the brachioradialis area. And uh, you can see that she had a little bit of a jerk there, so that would be two plus reflexes there. Again, my thumb is over the tendon and I'm uh, percussing my thumb. Okay. 
Okay, a little bit less there. Um, I could feel it in my hand that hurt. It was like tightening, but there's no visible, so I guess one plus on that side. Time. Do triceps. This is a direct percussion on the triceps. Here, I'll just do it so they can see. Relax your arm. Okay, I can feel that tricep tightening up when I hit that, so that'll be two plus on that side. And same thing on this side. That's how you know your arm's not relaxed, because when I let go, <laughs> it stays in the same spot. Okay, so re full relaxation. Okay. Okay, just all that tightness there, so two plus on that side. Um, I think your upper extremities are all good now. We did elbow, full range. Okay, with the hand, with the wrist, with the shoulder. Grip strength, hand, okay. Um, we are gonna look at anterior and posterior thorax now. So we'll just start with the anterior since she's facing us. I don't see any visible pulsations or retractions in her chest. Um, anterior thorax is symmetric, no abnormal shape. I'm gonna go ahead and take a listen, okay? Well, first let's identify some landmarks. This is sternum. Xiphoid process, um, supraclavicular, infraclavicular, midclavicular, and just in case I missed it, supraclavicular lymph nodes, any tenderness? Okay, they're not palpable either. Um, go ahead and lift your arm up. Anterior axillary, mid ax, sorry, anterior axillary, mid axillary, posterior axillary. All right, and I think that's all the landmarks we needed. I want to take a quick listen to your lungs here. So every time I move it, deep breath in and out for me, please. Breath sounds are clear bilaterally. Um, no adventitious breath sounds noted. Go ahead and turn to so your, your side is facing. Okay. Anterior, posterior to, not turn this way. Transverse diameter is one to two, as you can see also, moving into the posterior thorax. Normal S-curve of the spine here. Go ahead and turn the rest of the way around. No lateral deviations on the spine. Spine is midline. Thorax is symmetric. Go ahead and take a deep breath in for me. Okay, as you can see, um, even chest expansion. When she, upon inspiration, we'll look at some landmarks here too. This is the vertebral prominence. This is C7, T1, mid, um, vertebral line, mid scapulary line. This bottom of the scapula here. That's about the level of T7 rib. And then you find the bottom of the ribs, trace it up. That's about T12 there. Any tenderness? No costral vertebral angle tenderness. I'm gonna listen again. Okay, so same thing. Every time I move it, deep breath in and out. I'm gonna start down here actually. Clear breath, breath sounds bilaterally. Again, the book shows this pattern, but I think Ellen said just as long as you make an effort that once you move up a level, you're going side to side before you move up another level or down. Um, yeah, so no adventitious breath sounds noted. We are going to go ahead and lay down here, I think. So just go ahead and lay your head on this pillow. Okay. So, 
visual inspection, I don't see any lips or heaves. I don't see the point of maximum impulse. No palpable lips or heaves, no palpable thrills. Point of maximum impulse is here, which is mid-clavicular. That would be fifth intercostal space. I'm gonna take a listen now. Aortic. Can you kind of like just tilt this way a tiny bit so that they can see your chest a little bit? Perfect. Aortic. Pulmonic. Can you hear your heart really loud now? Herbs. Tricuspid. And mitral. And then this is also about S1. It's at the apex of the heart. S2 is up here at the base of the heart. Apical pulse. Well, I guess this is the apical. Apical. Apical means apex. Apical pulse is regular. Regular rhythm, regular rate. No um, tachycardia, no bradycardia. I'll listen with the bell of the stethoscope as well to pick up any murmurs. I just need to get these two fingers. Okay, radial pulse is a two plus, equal bilaterally. Regular rate, no tachycardia, no radycardia. Now I'm gonna observe your abdomen. I don't. No visible scars, striations, lesions, no visible masses. Um, I'll have to palpate to make sure with that one though. So it might not always be the easiest to see, especially herniations. Um, skin is pink, warm, and dry. Oops. And then with the abdomen, you're going to want to also tape before you do anything else. Bowel sounds in the upper right quadrant. Bowel sounds in the upper left quadrant for sure. Bowel sounds in the lower left quadrant. Bowel sounds in the lower right quadrant. I'm going to per percuss all those quadrants as well. Okay, um, it's tympanic, or you'll hear, you'll, ugh, can't speak. You'll hear tympani over the abdomen. Up here by the um, liver border, you might hear some dullness. All right, now I'm gonna palpate. Let me know if you feel any tenderness, okay? Any tenderness, okay? No tenderness, I didn't feel any masses, uh, no hernias, no pulsations. Um, yeah, no swelling, didn't feel any like, like it felt like ascites or edema or anything like that. Uh, contour is flat, maybe tiny bit scaphoid. All right, um, I will have you sit up now on the edge here. And I'm actually gonna have you sit on this pillow so your feet may go up a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'll get back to it. Okay. Relax your legs. Relax. Okay. Okay. Um, two plus both legs. At the beginning, this leg was maybe one plus, but I. After a couple times, I got to a two plus for that patellar reflex. We'll do the Achilles one too. Relax your legs. We'll do it this way. 
Yeah, I can feel our calf tensing when I hit that. So there's the Achilles reflex, two plus on that side. Not really much on this side. Um, I wouldn't say zero because I can feel some tension up here, but probably one plus. Go ahead and push against. Okay, pull back. Okay, that full um, resistance there. So there's that quadricep and that hamstring muscle strain. Go ahead and dorsiflex. Yep, plantar flex. Okay, invert your ankles. Okay, now Ebert them. All right, the dwarf flex and plantar flex, that was against full resistance, so she's got that full ankle range of motion as well as the full strength since it's against full resistance, so that'd be a grade five. Um, okay, posterior tibialis pulse is two plus bilaterally. Dorsalis penis pulse, two plus bilaterally. Any pain or tenderness here? Okay, no pain or tenderness in the lower extremities. Skin is pink, warm, and dry. Um, you, She has her hair removed, but where you can kind of see where it grows in, it's evenly distributed. No lesions, no abnormalities, nothing like that. Uh, no palpable or visible edema. Nails, they're painted, but I can tell just from these ones that aren't painted. Um, capillary refills, maybe two seconds here. Her feet are a little bit colder. Um, nails are well adhered to the nail bed. Nail bed is pink. Nails are clear besides where they're painted. Um, nails are symmetric. There's no ridges. Let me look at these again. Okay, her nail bed up here is less than 180 degrees, so no indication of clubbing, anything like that. Um, yeah, yep, there's a nice angle there. And these are also uh, smooth, symmetric both hands. I think I already said that, but just to make sure. All right, now let's look at, did your ankle, did patella, we did Achilles. Oh, do you want to lay down again for me? Relax, relax. Okay, there's that, um, this is the big Binsky test and then she has that patellar reflex there, or not patellar, sorry. Um, Planter reflex. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Relax, relax. Okay. You, I don't know if you can see that well on the camera, but her toes are like slightly curling inwards at the end there. That's that, um, that planter reflex there. So I call it or, or like you could tell it's tensing up, so I'd probably call it two plus on both sides, maybe one plus if you want to say that the toes are grasping enough. Relax, relax. Any pain in your legs? Okay. Um, Holman sign is negative. All right. Um, I'll have you stand up for me. All right. Go ahead and bend your one leg and then extend it. Full knee range of motion, right leg. Full knee range of motion, left leg. And then we already did the quad and hamstring test. Um, I'm gonna have you, let's see, I think the camera feel will reach. So start over there and go ahead and walk about here. Now walk back. You can see in her gait, it's an even cadence. Um, there's conformity, there's rhythm, um, symmetric. Go ahead and close your eyes. Hold your palms out. Okay. Feet together. Okay, minute swaying 
Um, there's no arm drifts, so that's a negative Romberg. Okay, you're good. And I am going to look at my paper and then see if I need to redo anything. See what time I've got left on this thing. Oh, four and a half minutes. Okay. Okay, I said all the skin is pink, warm, and dry. Went over moles, lesions, there's no. Actually, come back. Yep. Okay, hold on. I have to look at it. I can only look at it once before. Okay. All right. You're gonna open wide for me? Okay, close a couple times. Any tenderness? Okay, no tenderness, but there is some slight popping. No crepitus or anything like that, but some slight popping. Um, do you wanna stand up for me? Okay, I th think I did this, but just to make sure, anterior posterior diameter to transverse is one to two. Um, Go ahead and follow my finger. Okay, six fields of gaze. I think I did it again, but just to make sure. And then, um, I think I did everything else. Oh, if I didn't, I'll lose some points, I guess. Okay.